around you. Speaking at the University of Arizona a couple years ago, very intelligent University of Arizona student raises his hand and says, you're right, Cliff, I believe there's no God, and because there is no God, morality is relative. I said, fine, give me an example when date rape is possibly good. He said, oh, that's one easy. I have a very high testosterone level. When I participate in date rape, it's good. It's, it's very natural. I looked him in the face and said, I'm sorry, sir, because I believe there's a God, I know that a woman is valuable. I don't care what you believe. And you date raping is absolutely evil. You see, ma'am, it's a lie when anybody tells you, oh man, your belief determines reality. No, it doesn't. If I walk to the top of the Sears Tower and honestly believe when I step off, I can fly, that doesn't change the fact that when I step off of the Sears Tower, I'm gonna fall and I'm gonna have a very, very painful landing on the cement below. My belief does not determine reality. Reality exists separate from my belief. And the challenge for me as a thinking human being with a conscience is to get in touch with reality. Now, I pray that's why you guys are here at the University of Illinois. A whole liberal arts education used to be based on the idea, truth. We are in pursuit of truth in biology, in physics, in psychology, in history. We are after truth. And I'm standing here saying Jesus Christ made the clear claim in John chapter 8. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And then in John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now you have to decide as a thinking person, the dude's either a liar blowing smoke or else he's speaking the truth. That's what you gotta decide. It's what I gotta decide. That's what we all have to decide.